But the sustainability, like treasury, when we touched on governance, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. That's part of the sustainability factor. And then there's also the treasury where some uh, ADA will be put into a treasury and people will be able to vote on that kind of stuff. Uh, like what proposals do they want moved forward? So I guess basically there will be some type of Cardano improvement proposal built into the system and there will be amount, a certain amount of ADA that goes towards that proposal based off of what voters decide. Is that the general idea on the sustainability side of the house? Well, I mean, the Cardano improvement proposal should be unrelated to the funding in a lot of situations, right? You think everybody, for example, you think everybody who builds this kind of smart contract should follow this kind of model, right? You don't need partly funding for this, uh, but you could make a funding request for it if you wanted to and have people debate about this. For example, what if you wanted to propose a new ERC standard, right? Similar to the way Ethereum does it. Well, what, the way Ethereum does it is they have some sort of GitHub repository and people write a proposal and then it goes through a triage meeting and then if that gets approved, then they build a prototype and then people look at the prototype and if, it's, if it looks good, then there's discussion and then it goes to approval stage, right? Uh, but so somebody has to spend the time to write the proposal, which is, you know, something, but they also have to spend time writing the implementation, right? What is this? Uh, either new ERC standard look like, or if they're proposing a feature for the consensus layer, what does this new consensus layer look like? And unless you have the either the free time or the personal money to do this, it's not really something you can easily do. Right? So you could make a, a treasury proposal saying, I've made a new ERC proposal, right? A, there was discussion on it, it got accepted at the triage stage, and now I need to build the implementation but I don't have enough money. So I propose that we give me maybe 50K to basically program the implementation and then you see what happens, right? And if you wanted to, as, as an ecosystem, we can decide the strictness of these proposals, right? So for example, we, we may want to say, if you decide to propose an ERC uh, contract, you need to also provide some sort of uh, set of rules that people can use to then uh, formally verify whether or not they match the spec of the ERC contract. Does that make sense? That totally makes sense now. For example, I'll put it into my simple terms because that's what I'm here for, <laughs> is if the community wanted to build a bridge, they could vote to build a bridge, or if they the community can vote how much they want to pay for that bridge, which is how much money would you put towards the proposal, say 50,000 of whatever currency. But you wouldn't yeah, I mean, necessarily so, want the voters to vote on engineering decisions, yes? I mean, the, I, the, I the say, triage panel. I would say more it's uh, deciding whether or not to build the bridge is in a sense independent of deciding whether or not to fund the bridge. Right, you could approve the bridge, and then just hope somebody finds money to build it. Right, or you could approve the bridge, and then also subsequently approve building the bridge. Does that make sense? Yeah, where the funding is a separate proposal from the yeah. actual. Do so we want the only bridge? problem with that, the only problem with that is that the treasury proposals are not a real time thing. It's not like I I propose building the bridge, you guys approved. I propose funding the bridge and it gets approved next weekend. Like, no, no, that's, that's not going to happen, right? Uh, and that's kind of the nature of a decentralized protocol where we can't expect everybody to just be in a room together, make a decision quickly, and then uh, walk out and start building the bridge, right? We need to have, you know, start thinking on the scale of months where you make a proposal, you wait one month to see what happens, possibly you move to the next stage of funding or whatever, right? It's, it's going to be a long process. And so that's something to take into account.